Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. So, yeah, lovely to see you again. And thank you very much for joining me for this very quick video recipe. Now, I post these pictures on my Instagram. Mr. What's for Tea makes bread maker bread off oh, at least a couple of days a week. You know, and prior to us getting a bread maker, we would just get bread, you know, from the supermarket. But since we've been, you know, since we've had the bread maker, we very rarely buy, you know, shop bought bread because we just use this stuff. It's so easy to make, you know, it's, it works out quite cheap, you know, by the time you've got your flour and your yeast and you've got all the things that you need. And it's just so simple. You dump everything in and you end up with a wonderful loaf. Now, sometimes we use the wholemeal flour, sometimes we use, you know, the, the white flour, but this recipe is for the wholemeal loaf. So we're using the Panasonic SD. 2500 or 2500 and like I said there are loads of different recipes you can use or different functions on there but we just use the two and the one I'm going to be using today is program number four so make sure that you've got your wee paddle in the bottom because that would be a disaster because it does mix everything for you and obviously knead for you and it rises in there and then it bakes so it's just wonderful so the first thing you want to do is pop in the yeast so I've got a, a heaped teaspoon of fast acting yeast and then 500 grams of strong wholemeal flour, a teaspoon and a half of sugar, just white granulated sugar. I'm going to reset this and uh, add in between 25 and 27 grams of butter, doesn't have to be exact. And then 370 ml of tepid water, so that's not cold, not warm, somewhere in between. And then just throw this in to your bread maker, pop down your lid and we're going to use setting number four, which is going to give you an extra large loaf. So it's setting number four and it'll take five hours. Now, two tips here. If you want a nice squishy loaf, when this is ready, just leave the lid down, you know, and the moisture that's in there will give you a nice sort of spongy, springy loaf. That's the flour that I use there. If you want a crispy sort of loaf with a nice crispy crust, leave the lid open, get your loaf out as soon as it's ready and put it onto a wire rack and that will keep the crust nice and sort of scratchy, I call it, but it, it's nice and crispy. We did want a really soft one this time so he has left the lid down until it was fully cooled and that just ends up you know you just end up with a lovely springy squishy loaf as you'll see in a wee second you see the wrinkling on the top there that's an indication it's very very soft and as you can see you know poke it down and squish it in there that this was what we were looking for but like i said if you do want a nice sort of crispy crust take it out as soon as it's ready pop it onto a wire rack and you won't have this sort of softness and this is what it looks like inside now i've no idea what's going on with the lighting here because it is much more brown in real life but it's got a lovely texture as you can see there and this is fantastic toasted with some butter on top. It is just lovely. The only thing about this, I mean, it obviously doesn't last long because you're making it yourself, but yeah, beautiful. Just before I leave you, I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel as usual over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. So it's very much appreciated, guys. So thank you very much for watching and leaving your comments and all the wonderful things that you do. So this was just a wee bonus video. So I hope you liked that. I know it is a wee bit different but I've had so many folk on Instagram, you know, when I do post pictures of the bread maker bread, you know, how do you do that? I've got a break, bread maker bread and it never turns out like that. I mean, this just turns out the same every single time. And it's obviously not down to any technique of mine because the machine is doing, doing it for you. So I reckon it just must be quite a good bread maker. If you're not following me over on Instagram yet, I'm what's for T3 over there. And it would be lovely to see more of you because obviously there's the bread. <laughs> I do post pictures and videos and things over there that don't make it over to YouTube yet. So until I see you next next time, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.